I'm going to make a video about the 1975 Mr. Olympia competition. Now the 1975 Olympia was obviously the year that they filmed Pumping Iron. So Pumping Iron is obviously one of the biggest bodybuilding documentaries, most popular, most well-known bodybuilding documentaries of all time. But what a lot of people don't know is the secret scandal that went on behind the scenes of the 1975 Olympia and the scandal surrounding uh, Serge Nubre's limited involvement in the filming of the movie. So I'll get to that later in the video. So obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger won the show and then he would announce his retirement. Um, this would be his sixth Olympia victory. So he announced his retirement after the 1975 Olympia, but he would come back in 1980, obviously, as we all know, to compete and win the 1980 Mr. Olympia, which I've also made a video about and titled it the most controversial Olympia of all time. Because obviously after coming off of a long hiatus from bodybuilding, Arnold didn't really look like the Arnold that he used to be. Um, so in 1980, he really didn't look like a uh, championship bodybuilder. So in 1980, um, his win was widely disputed by a lot of people in the bodybuilding community. In second place, we had Serge Nubre, which is very interesting because initially, Serge Nubre wasn't even going to be allowed to compete in the show. I'll get to that later as well. Then in third place, we had Lou Ferrigno. Then in the under 200 pound category, in first place, we had Franco Colombo. In second place, we had Ed Corney. In third place, we had Albert Beckles. In fourth, we had Frank Zane, and in five, we had, we had Giuseppe Diadana. So as you guys know, if you watched the movie, you saw that the main rivalry they talked about in Pumping Iron was basically Arnold and Lou, and they really didn't talk about Serge very much or follow him at all um, throughout the movie, and there was just some brief little clips where he was actually included. Now, there's several reasons for this. Number one, originally Serge wasn't going to be allowed to compete in the show, and the reason being is kind of up for dispute. Um, one of the popular theories is the fact that Serge was actually, he acted in a lot of movies, so Serge was trying to pursue an acting career um, at this same point in time that he was competing in bodybuilding. And he had starred in several movies, and apparently one of those movies was basically, allegedly, like a pornographic type of movie. So some people say this was just a small sex scene within a movie, and other people say the entire movie was basically a pornographic film for a porn company. Um, but the bottom line is that Serge denied this until the day that he died, that he had any kind of involvement with any sort of pornographic film. But basically this was the reason that Joe Weider did not want him competing in the 1975 Olympia. And he told Serge that and discouraged him from competing and actually told him he could not compete. And it's a shame that things like this happen because in so many of my videos, the politics behind bodybuilding are really revealed. I mean, things like this seem to happen all the time, especially throughout the 90s. The 90s era and kind of the era of Arnold was a pretty sketchy era altogether. And there's a lot of things that happened that probably shouldn't have happened and a lot of politics involving Joe Weider and Arnold that just seemed to be really fishy. Um, and this was one of them. But apparently leading up to the show, um, he was training and dieting so good and Serge was looking so amazing that at the last minute, uh, Weider actually allowed him to compete in the show. So obviously Serge was looking pretty damn good because he did play second at the show. And he was really Arnold's main competition in that year's Olympia, but really he didn't get any feature time um, in the Pumping Iron movie itself. And the reason for that is because Serge actually didn't allow them to use the footage. So basically they offered him like a low ball number to be involved in Pumping Iron. They only offered him $200 um, to, be to be involved initially in Pumping Iron, which is absolutely insulting because this guy, like I said, he came in second place. He was like a number one contender to Arnold. Um, so they, they basically gave him an insulting offer to be involved in the film. Um, so he turned it down. I think they eventually ended up giving him more money. But essentially what happened was they wanted to use a bunch of his footage. And he basically said, you guys still didn't give me enough money, so I'm not going to let you guys use this much footage of me in the movie because you guys didn't compensate me fairly. And to be honest with you guys, I'm inclined to uh, believe Serge's side of the story because Serge, like I said, he was an actor before this. He had acted in several movies, so this guy knows what the fair compensation rate is for being involved in a movie. He knows what fair compensation is. Um, so when he says they weren't going to compensate him fairly and when he says they gave him an insulting offer, I believe that. So I think Serge was definitely wronged here, um, and that's the reason for the minimal involvement in the Pumping Iron movie. So it's kind of a shame, really, because we don't really have an accurate glimpse of bodybuilding history because a lot of these politics, they try to sweep them under the rug and not really talk about them. Um, but most people watching Pumping Iron would think that Arnold and Lou, they were basically one and two. If you didn't watch the show to the end and you didn't see the Olympia finals um, in the end of Pumping Iron in the 1975 Olympia where they give the awards, and you didn't see that Arnold won that show, um, if you had just watched that whole movie up until that point, you would have thought it would have been Arnold and then Lou and then Serge because they didn't give Serge any type of coverage because they acted like he wasn't any type of threat. But in reality, he was, you know, the second best bodybuilder on the stage. 
So it's kind of a shame that these things happen because it seems to happen all too frequently, as you've seen in many of my videos. So that's basically the story of the 1975 Olympia controversy. They wanted it to be about Arnold and Lou, and initially they weren't even going to allow Serge to compete, so it's kind of a shame. But it definitely goes to show you that bodybuilding, you know, it kind of had a dark history in its early days, especially in the 70s and 80s. Um, so please give the video a thumb up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. If you